Oh, wait, is it? Oh, yeah, I need to do this somehow. All right. All right, hi, my name's Thomas Whitaker, and this is my presentation, well, my pitch for moving image. So I'm just going to show you my video first. So that's my video. So why I chose it. Lots of sounds. So there's like, yeah, there's lots of sounds basically. Uh, all the components are utilized. Uh, yeah, so it's quite obvious where the sounds are. So it's just, it's just quite straightforward really. Um, Cause like you got like glass smashing, you got a gun turning on, you got gunshots, footsteps, shots hitting the walls. It's just quite, it's just quite obvious and you can, I can like add ambience to it, like wind and stuff, because that's kind of what I'd kind of imagine going there. Uh, and yeah, it looks challenging but doable, because like all the sounds, they're, there, they're like, like glass bottles smashing glass or like water pouring out. Or that's just like, it's just doable. It's like quite easy. And then you've got stuff like the electricity from the gun and the gunshots, which are more on like the challenging side. Because like, you don't want to just do one so I can just like easily just do like I want to get a bit more like experience doing the ones like like the gunshots and electricity, finding out different ways how to do them. Because otherwise I won't really learn anything. So yeah, this is my cue sheet. So start with wind. I'll just use the logic test oscillator because that's what I've seen quite a lot of people use. Uh, gun turning on, so that'll be kind of fully of handling a metal object. So I haven't really thought too much about that. I've just kind of thought about what kind of metal objects I could use, maybe. Uh, and the gun rumble, that's like the gun kind of activating, like turning on. And I heard um, the fan in the the locker room in construction. That's it's got quite like a, a it's like a zhu zhu zhu. It's, it does kind of sound like a turning on. I think I might be able to use that or maybe layer it with a logic synth. A bottle scrape, scraping bottles is quite easy. Music, for music, I think I might go with something a bit, um, a bit, just not too like sci-fi or anything, maybe quite natural sound and like strings and stuff. Cause it's quite, it's like the gravity gun is like getting used for the first time. It's quite interesting. It's like a, it's, yeah, it's just quite a cool thing. So it has quite like a cool build up of like music kind of like that. Uh, yeah, Alex, voice actor. For most of the voice acting, I imagine I can probably just use my own voice because it's just a guy talking and he's just shouting and it's just two words. So imagine I'd, that I'll probably be able to just do myself. Um, and then the gun rumbling higher, that'll probably be a logic synth or maybe pitching it up. Uh, electricity. So yeah, so there's two things I've thought about using right now, but I'll probably need to research it a bit more. Uh, the Jacob's Ladder, which is uh, where it like kind of creates electricity between like two walls. And touching a jack cable on skin, because that makes quite, it makes a buzzing sound. I'm not sure if it'll be a right kind of sound, but I'll try it anyways. So, um, so happy breathing. So that's ADR. That's like the woman breathing. And I'll try that myself. But since it's a woman breathing, it probably won't go too well if it is just myself. But yeah, I'll just try it myself first. But if not, I'll need a actual girl to do it. Um, and yeah, for the gunshots, I've thought of quite a few ideas. Uh, so there's just like kick and snare. Uh, I've got a balloon popping, car door, like slamming. And basically what I'm just trying to go for is just like making as many like loud bang noises as I can. Seeing if I can layer them, because I've seen lots of videos. It's the best gunshots are usually made just from like layering stuff, basically. So here, 
uh, and shot in the wall, slamming books together. I think that might work, or maybe just like slamming books anywhere on any different kind of surface. And yeah, rubble, just dropping rubble on the floor and recording that. And so yeah, this is my Gantt chart. So I've got that kind of first week that I'll probably like kind of, so I've got like gunshots, shot in wall rubble, gun turning on. And like gun turning on is like kind of metal handling noises. So I imagine that'll probably be, I've got like construction that first week, try and get all those noises, as many as I can. And I might go in the week, ah, well, the couple of days afterwards, uh, electricity is something I want to put like a whole day on because I'm not too sure about electricity or anything or how to make it. So I imagine I need a whole day on it. Footsteps, uh, yeah, I'll probably just go in like the studio and record them and get a whole day on it and get as many as I can, even though it's just a fair few footsteps, not too many. Uh, bottle scraping, yeah whole day for that, though I'm not sure if I'll need that fully. Uh, and yeah, my next bunch of sounds, they're kind of sound effect effects, they're all the ones that I imagine I'll probably be doing on Logic. Uh, and then I've got the voice acting next, which I'll do before the end, because I imagine it'll be just quite a quick job to do because there's not too much of it. And music, I've got kind of most of the last week, because that's, well, I have like most of it done by then, the music kind of like, uh, I'll have most of it done by then, the music kind of like, because I, I don't know, I just don't really think I should do music at the start, because like, it, whatever the sounds are, they might, be able to like, influence the music and stuff. And yeah, mixing just like the end and then there's the hand in date. So yeah, that's my presentation. That's my pitch. So you're gonna do the voice for the words Alex and protect? Yeah, and I might do like just the breathing. Do as well. Alright. Alex! Protect! Right, is that the same character? There's two things. Yeah. Let's have a look at the scene. How about that sound in the head of you doing that? Yeah, so it's just him saying it right there. Obviously, I'd give it a few tries. Well, yeah, I'd give it a few tries so I could. Obviously, it's quite an embarrassing situation to do it right here in front of everyone. When you find a microphone in the recording studio, it's just like you're feeling right now. With yeah. the pressure on you with the record button. You experience it from a production point of view when you're recording a singer. Um, you? you know what I mean? So put yourself in that position. This is an ideal situation to replicate that for that day. And this will save you time doing it just like that now, where you've. Um, yeah. Alright. Because you look at the guy that's special in his face, and it's like he's really. Um, behind that 
Wait, so this is on like concrete. Alright, I didn't really. Mm. Look at the surface of the rock, and then have a think will I actually be able to do when I walk on carpets on the surface of the studio? Does it actually sound like concrete? It might do if you put some stuff down, but go think like test these locations first. 